Everyone's good at something, but no one is good at everything. Won't let Tinchek recount a time when his failure could have been the end of his career, if not for leaders who believed in him. On this NSP short, listen to the importance of seizing on second chances. Difficulty, unfortunately, was academic. It wasn't. It was not uh, from a leadership standpoint. It wasn't from, um, you know, uh, an, an athletic standpoint. It was academics. And so, at the time I came out of Manitoba, we didn't take any calculus at all. And going into military college, and at the time when I found out that I wasn't um, uh, eligible to be uh, in the Air Force as a pilot, they put me into land ordnance engineering at the time it was called lorry now it's electrical mechanical engineering uh, or remi now uh, but at the time i was going to be a mechanical engineer and and calculus and and you know mathematics as well as uh physics and chemistry kind of important <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh, unfortunately i was missing one of the key uh, uh factors there i was missing the whole calculus program and so and then the other challenge is as soon as I got to Royal Roads, uh, they didn't have a football program, but they have a rugby program. And they realized I was a football player coming out of Manitoba. I got drafted on the rugby team. And here we are in a very intense recruit period where you really don't have a moment to yourself. And you're using every bit of energy you have in order to maintain the standards, um, you know, do all the physical activity. I was also on the varsity rugby team. And then they realized that because of my size, I should also be on the varsity tug of war team. <laughs> so here I was a recruit and a first year kid, or subsequently a first year cadet on both the varsity um, rugby team and the varsity tug of war team. So five days a week on the varsity team and weekends. Uh, and I don't have calculus academically at Christmas. I bombed. <laughs> <laughs> I bombed. It was my first academic failure ever. And it was like, hmm, <laughs> this isn't going well. But athletically, it was going well. And leadership-wise, yeah. it was going well. <laughs> so so how did you manage the, that failure then? Because it's, I mean, that's an interesting point in your life to hit your first academic failure is in yeah, you know, especially the university program yeah. like military college. Yeah, and, and especially my... Uh, my um, uh, academic advisor was the principal of, oh, uh, really? of well, <laughs> Dr. Graham was my, was my academic advisor. And here I am bombing across the board. Uh, one of my rugby coaches is my squadron commander, Dennis O'Brien, God bless him. And he kept encouraging me on, you know, keep going, keep going. But I knew that I had this massive gap of knowledge uh, in these three core subjects, um, in calculus, in uh, physics, and in chemistry. So not only did I fail all three exams at the Christmas exams, I failed all three supplementary exams. And so I should have been out the door right. uh, and released. Um, this is where I learned a lot about compassion and and, uh, and understanding of, of people's circumstances due to, I believe, the leadership of Dr. Graham from an academic standpoint and uh, the squadron commander, uh, Captain Dennis O'Brien, uh, they kept me on uh, for about six weeks as they worked with National Defense Headquarters and the personnel folks to figure out what to do with me. And at the time, I was strongly contemplating just joining the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and starting, okay. starting a second career, absolutely. Uh, but the, the guidance I got from my squadron commander, Dennis O'Brien, he said, you know, uh, just for the time being, spend your time at the library and keep studying whatever you want to study, uh, and keep playing rugby. <laughs> more, keep playing rugby. More importantly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Royal Rose is very rugby-focused. At one point, when I blew my knee out playing rugby on AstroTurf at the U.S. Uh, Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, uh, after I came out of hospital with my knee, I received this medical uh, chit, this med medical instruction from the doc, which said, no drill, no running, uh, no PT, rugby only. <laughs> <laughs> I should have kept that chip, but I, I would show that chip. Anyway, I think my rugby coach had a chat with the doc. Anyway, um, 
after six weeks, uh, National Defence Headquarters gave me the option of going from uh, engineering into uh, arts uh, and from a classification standpoint, going from land ordnance engineering to any one of the combat arms. And so when my squadron commander asked me about this, I said, you know, my dad was a tanker. If the Armour Corps is good enough for my dad, it's good enough for me. 